Hi, this is Dave from javacodejunkie.com and welcome to another MariaDB tutorial. In this episode, we're going to look at foreign keys. A foreign key is a constraint that can be used to enforce data integrity. It's composed of a column or a set of columns in a table called a child table, which has a reference to a column or set of columns in a table called the parent table. If foreign keys are used, MariaDB will perform some checks to ensure that integrity rules are always enforced. So let's have a look at an example. Let's log into our MariaDB client. enter our password and we will use the tutorial database that we created in a previous episode I'm going to create two tables one is a departments table and another is an employees table so let's start with the departments We'll create an ID. It's an integer, not null. It must have a value for every record in the table. It is the primary key. And it is auto increment so that the value for the primary key is provided by MariaDB. The second field is simply a text description for the department or a name for the department. I'll call it text. It is a varchar of length 50 and also not null. And that's it for our departments table. Describe departments. And there we have the definition for the departments table that we just created. The next table we're going to create is the employees table. So create table employees. Again, we have an ID, not null. Primary key. Auto increment. We'll have an employee ID. Also integer, not null. And this will be a unique key so that we have to have a different employee ID for each record that is added to this table. We're going to have a first name column. It is a varchar of length 30. Also not null. And same with last name. Varchar 30. Not null. birth date, which is a date column, and finally a department ID. This is the field that's going to be used to reference our departments table as a foreign key. Integer, not null, and finally we're going to enter the foreign key constraint. So it starts this way, constraint. And we'll give the constraint a name, FK for foreign key, department ID, foreign key, and the foreign key is department ID, 
and the value in the department ID column references the department's table and the ID column. We'll add a couple of other clauses here on delete restrict. And what that means is whenever we try to delete a record in the department's table, if in this example the ID for the department is in use in the employee's table in any record, it will prevent the record in the department's table from being deleted. So on delete restrict and the same on update restrict. And that's the end of the definition of our employee table. So we'll just hit enter. So what we've done is we've set up a a master table, if you will, with all of the department IDs and names, which we will get into entering in a, f a future tutorial. We've also then set up a link in our employees table so that any record entered into the employees table has to have a corresponding department ID in the department's table. And that referential integrity is enforced by MariaDB. In the next video, we're going to look at the SQL insert statement. So we'll start adding records to both of these tables and we'll see in more detail just how this foreign key relationship works. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit the like button and consider subscribing so that you won't miss any future videos that I release. I appreciate you spending your time with me today and I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, take care and keep on coding.